Hello friends, Tech Mang Pat here. Hope you are well. This is an impromptu dirt report. It's more of a like, hey guys, this is getting out of hand. Today, and actually a little bit yesterday, you might have seen news that another cyber attack has happened. Now we talked about this particular cyber attack in the dirt report on Sunday, and it is, well, it's public now, and we know the range and scope of how far the Medibank cyber attack has gone. So let's jump into the ABC news because it is breaking news. Here we have Medibank admits personal data stolen in cyber attack. Let's have a quick gaze. Now, what we knew last week has changed very quickly. We knew that something had happened. The CEO, David Kochkar, came out and said, well, he's going to get back to us about what's happening. But there was a network activity that they couldn't quite pinpoint. But it seems today Medibank has admitted the personal data of some of its customers, including names, addresses, Medicare numbers, and phone numbers has been stolen in a cyber attack. In a statement, the company said the criminal group allegedly responsible had claimed that 200 gigabytes of data had been stolen, that it would be reaching out to affected customers to let them know and what to do next. I got the similar email from their subsidiary, AHM, and this continues. The criminal group has provided sample of records of 100 policies, which we believe has come from our AHM and international student systems. The data includes first names and surnames, addresses, dates of birth, Medicare numbers, policy numbers, phone numbers, and some claims data. It said the claims data involved where the medical services was and the codes that related to the diagnosis and procedures. So now we've got providers of insurance actually holding on to data of obviously medical things that you and I might go through. And this information has now been leaked out into the world. And people were afraid that the government was going to use their data weirdly when we were handing over our medical data to their online systems, but here we go. And I just cannot believe how often these cyber attacks are happening. Now, there's a bit of a tinfoil hat here. At the moment, there is a lot of war happening over in Europe, specifically, obviously, Russia and Ukraine. And so Russia and China and North Korea has been attacking the West via cyber attacks. So this could have been seen because of the help Australia has given Ukraine that, um, you know, somebody's getting back at, I guess, companies here in Australia. And I bet it's happening all over the US and Europe all the time. But on the other hand, when you spot a red car, you start seeing red cars everywhere. If you buy a new car and it's, let's say, a Mazda 3, you're driving around seeing Mazda 3s everywhere. It's this weird concept that once you spot the elephant, there's elephants everywhere, whatever the saying goes. But there is certainly precedence to say that there is something more going on here in Australia and there are actual, I guess, companies being targeted by these groups. Now, I don't think Optus was actually connected to this group. I think that was an accidental alarm or an eye opener for hackers to go digging further into other companies. I think Optus was just a, wait a minute, these companies haven't secured these systems? Let's go have a look how much havoc we can wreck. So the CEO apologized for stolen data. The company's chief executive, David Kochkar, offered an unreserved apology for this crime, which has been perpetrated against our customers. I know that many will be disappointed with Medibank and acknowledge that disappointment, he said. This cybercrime is now the subject of an investigation by the Australian Federal Police. We will learn from this incident and will share our learnings with others. I think that's actually quite important. You'd hope that these companies might actually go, Hey, you know, we we found this open API port that we didn't put authentication on or a password. You guys should probably check your ones just in case. Not that this is what's happening here in Metabank. It could be some a bit more technical, but let's reserve that until more information comes. Opposition leader Peter Dutton encouraged businesses and individuals to use their resources on offer through ASD and the ACSC to better protect themselves. He said, I would encourage people to visit those websites just to get the patches, the upgrades, the updates for the government to continue that messaging, he said. So I guess 
like this question, have you been impacted by Medibank's cyber attack? Have you received an email about it? I'm looking forward to my email from AHM. Now, the other thing I wanted to highlight is this article from Financial Review. Medibank's ransom demand targets politicians, actors, and LGBT activists. And if that doesn't scream Russia and China and North Korea, then I don't know what does. Let's have a quick read. Australia's biggest health insurer, Medibank, says a group of demanding a ransom for sensitive health and credit card information that hackers say they took from the company's servers during a cyber attack last week and may expose if their demands are not met. And so these targeted include people with the most followers on social media. Thank God that's not me, but make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> Politicians, actors, bloggers, LGBT activists, drug addictive people, etc. The Herald has reported. That's the Sydney Morning Herald. Now, I don't actually get why the drag addicted people, maybe it's because, no, not drag, drug. Maybe it's because they might be famous people or they might be, but these, you know, people who are addicted to drugs are usually ones who need help and aren't necessarily always famous because those guys always get attention anyway. But it's very interesting to hear. 3.8 million people's data has been lost again in another cyber attack. We're gonna hopefully hear more on Friday tomorrow as I'm gonna release this video today, Thursday. And of course, on Sunday, we're gonna try and put together another dirt report. But just some thoughts straight away. This isn't looking good. And again, like the government said a little while back, Optus isn't the poster child for this. It's actually companies like Medibank, like AHM and other providers that provide data that potentially has ramifications across health and private information like uh, credit card payments and so on. Now, I've seen posts on Reddit of people showing their credit cards being charged random amounts at local Australian online shops like Bunnings, uh, Kmart, uh, Target, that have actually only started since the Optus hack. And that's concerning because the comments on those Reddit posts were that that person wasn't part of the 10,000 that was initially released. This is a big worry that all of a sudden we are seeing a lot more fraud. I have also heard internally that a lot of people are not wanting to use their credit card details. They don't want to release their personal details to suppliers within the business world because they are afraid that that supplier will be next on the list of being attacked. There's also talks of people losing money, like thousands and thousands upon dollars through their banks that they are unable to get. There's obviously a lot of fraud happening. So guys, be careful out there. Make sure to check every transaction. And I guess when you have data stored at these companies like Medibank, there's not much you can do. But what we need to do is make some noise so the government steps in and forces these companies to pay you back for the time wasted, the data that you have to now protect with potentially changing passports, driver's license, Medicare numbers, and actually go after those companies who don't do enough. Friends, let me know what you think below. Thank you very much for watching. This has been a bit of an off the cuff yarn about what's been happening. I'll see you all in the next report, hopefully on Sunday. Thanks and bye.